Hey guys, I'm here at QuiltCon, checking out the quilt show. These are quilts by Gwen Marston, who is the keynote speaker. And it's a nice display and shows the year that they were made. Oh, you should be jealous. You should be here. I know that um, all the details of the quilts don't come across in a video, but I thought it'd be great for the people who couldn't make it to the show to see some of the display. And it's in this beautiful room with a lot of natural light. So let me know if you have any questions. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the quilts or if there's anything specific that you want to see in the show. These are all the quilts by Gwen Marston. She uses a lot of solids. Hi, Peach Baby. So I'm going to try not to go too fast so you guys don't get dizzy, but I don't want to show everything for so long because there's so much to see. How many attendees are expected? Um, you know, I don't know that off the top of my head, but it runs for all weekend. So there'll be a ton of people and a ton of people flew in. Even some people from Australia flew to Pasadena to see the show. How many quilts does she bring? It looks like there's about 20 quilts hanging from her. And I just love the light drapes that the Modern Quilt Guild uses. The quilts look really great in this sun-filled room. So they're all broken into categories. This one here is in the negative space, which runs down this wall. This one, let's see, I don't think it's hand dyed. But it is a great use of color. It kind of has that ombre color effect. I like how they changed the color in the sashing. This is a young prince. And so see it says all the names of the songs quilted in it. And it's purple. This one has this great bias applique on the border. Here is small quilts. And look at these great ribbons that they give these awesome handmade prize ribbons. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the small quilts are great. The MQG does take pictures of all of them. Yes, they bring photographers. Um, and they put them online. I think it usually takes a while before they put them online. But if you go on Instagram and look at the hashtag QuiltCon or QuiltCon2016, you can see a lot of the fan favorites that they're posting and, and sharing right now. Let's see who made this map one. This one is by Tim Natar. And a lot of these quilts are for sale, so if you're wanting to come and buy some modern quilts, this is a great place to see some really great ones. Oh, thanks. Well, thanks for watching. Um, bias. Let's see, this one's a fan favorite. Um, yeah, it looks like it's all applique. And there's a lot of curves, so I'm guessing that they are cut on the bias. And this is a popular aisle. They're so cute when they're tiny. <laughs> yeah, this one did have great dense straight lines. Does look like it's kind of um, raining down. Oh, great, my quilter! I wish you were here too. It, it's really an amazing show. This is just one room. There's two big rooms full of quilts. This one has this great metallic hand quilting. <laughs> this girl, Sean Kimber, She's amazing with the small piecing. Look at how tiny these pieces are. Lots of photographing and ooing and aahing of the quilts. Look at this super adorable mixtape. She used selvages for the names and things. How cute is that? Yeah, I love the tapes. I think this one's a pattern that she wrote. Yes, this will be on catch. I love this one. It's kind of um, diamonds on point, and they're, they're kind of like half square triangle diamonds. So half, I'm not sure what that's called, half 
half diamond triangles. <laughs> and look at the effect of the piecing on this one. Your sister won best in show. Is that the, the quilt of my brother's jeans? Oh, wow. Well, so that's in the other room, but I'll definitely get a scope of that. And that quilt's amazing and has a lot of impact visually and with the story. Oh, how sweet. I think she's busy teaching a class right now, right? <laughs> Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad that she was able to share that with us. I know that it's kind of hard to put work like that out there, but it's a really great quilt. This is reverse applique, so they quilted all these as layers and then cut away the layers that they didn't want to see. Here's one from Carolyn. This is Africa. And this one's mine, y'all. I won third place in Applique. So shocked. Is this you? Yeah, that's me. It's so cute. How'd you do this? Well, I'm trying to see where the app so I pieced the top as like cotton lawns and white fabric and then I layered the pieces behind that and quilted over it. That's where so that's how you got that color, okay. that real soft well, that's Yeah, right. yeah. That's so you, and then this. I used like this is yes. a solid red. Yes. And like this is a floral that's behind well, there. This is dumb luck having you here because I'm looking in this way. I, I don't <laughs> see the applique, but I know it's got the applique because it says a right here. Right, yeah, it's between the batting. It's between the batting and the. So this is just the cotton lawn. You say so, so thin. So it's yeah, transparent. it's like the cotton lawn. Brilliant. Oh, thank you. Really, really cool. nice. Thank you. Yeah. You want a ribbon? I know. I'm so excited yeah. about the did you the ribbon. Out in advance, or did you have to come to the I didn't. I found, found out here. Oh, congratulations. Oh well, I'm doing the periscope now. Oh, okay. um, but. I had my sister take one, but, okay. you know, um, oh, congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm a winner, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. And yeah, here's some dollar bills I hid in there as a little savings and loan. Thank you. So yeah, I'm, it's, it's, um, a lot of amazing quilts here, so really it's an honor just to be accepted, and I'm shocked that it, that it placed. This one is another one from Carolyn. With these awesome puffy, puffy pieces. It's, see how she kind of quilted everything but the, the applique? Oh, thank you. Carolyn is the applique queen. Oh, thank you. I think Carolyn's teaching machine quilting this quilt con too. Look at this awesome first place ribbon. I just love those handmade ribbons they do. So these two are kind of friends these two quilts. And yeah, they have to remind us not to touch the quilts because it's so tempting on some of these to want to reach out and touch it. Here's Wendy from Emily Parson. Modern Handcraft made the ribbons at Modern Handcraft. She's on Periscope and Instagram. This is an awesome quilt that was hanging at Houston Quilt Festival. 
by Hilary Goodwin that is about prescription narcotic addiction. Hi. This one's really cool. I can't touch it to show you, but the back of the quilt, she used some old nursing scrubs. I believe they were her own nursing, nursing scrubs, so the back of that one's really cool. I wish I could show you, but again, we can't touch the, touch the quilts. So this is still applique, and so this design that you see is layered on top. And look how graphic that applique is. Doesn't that look like she drew on that with like a digital sketch pen? But it's all linen with a white bias applique. This one is called Flower Doodle by Lindsay Nell. Pen and paper patterns. And I just love that grid quilting too. This is Fraction by Louise Orth. I love that it has a border, but it's not symmetrical. Oh look, here we have a white glove volunteer. The, the volunteers with the white gloves can touch the quilt for you, and so you can ask them to show you the back. That'd be great. Yeah, I was just telling them that uh, the volunteers are great for if you want to see the back. And so look at that. You would never know that was there. It's hiding. It's like a second quilt hiding back there. That's great. Is that a print? Two quilts in one. Yeah, yeah, it's a print. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, thanks for volunteering and showing the quilts. This one is Uncommon Time by Claudia Gomez at Devoted to Color. Oh, we were looking at this one. This one is in the handwork category. This one is Hot Lava by Jenna Richardson. And so you can kind of see she did stitch in the ditch hand quilting. It's actually a navy. I'm not sure if that's coming across. Oh, absolutely. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. And I know, I know not everyone can make it. And so I thought it'd be great to show some of the great work. So can you see all the logs? She pieced all that, even though it's all the same color. which I love that extra work put into it. I think that creates that nice quilty look. So here's another one from Sean Kimber, who I mentioned earlier is great at that tiny piecing called Cotton Sophisticate. It says, in essence, I'm a sophisticated cotton picker. And look how tiny some of these pieces get. You see all those hand quilting lines? Super love this one. I could look at this one for hours and hours with all the different color threads and all the tiny pieces. Here's another one from Carolyn, Carolyn Friedlander. Yeah, that one is a lot of work. She makes it seem easy too. If you, let me go back to her Instagram name. Look for this girl on Instagram. She's great at showing her work.
here's some more hand quilting that you can see on Carolyn's. This is a combination of machine and hand quilting. I like these secondary patterns that happen when the blocks come together. This one is Edith Elliott's quilt by Amy Hoffman from Seattle. And you see how it's a whole cloth quilt, but with the hand quilting, and maybe she stuffed something under there. Kind of has that nice puffy, puffy star. Here is Over Under by Daisy Ashton. Ash, Ashley, Ants to Sugar. Actually, she's on Periscope, so you might know her. I love that each row has a different color combination. This is the section that we just saw. I'm heading back this way. This is one of the quilt of the month patterns that the Modern Quilt Guild sends out. When you're a member, once a month they send you, well, thank you. Once a month they send you a pattern in your email. This one is Quadra Quilt by Christine Ricks. Super cool quilting. Well, this one's quilted by Carly Porter, who is also on Periscope. Let's see. Let's walk this way. These are more quilts of the month. This one is. Altitudinal, wait, altitudinal ecosystem. <laughs> Some great grid quilting on this one. This one is Phoenix by Ann Sullivan. Yeah, they, you can have someone else quilt it and it can still be in a specific category and there's a group quilting category as well for quilts that many people worked on. This fun, fun Pac-Man shape. This one is Slice of Happiness by Stacy Day. Here is Jeweled by Jessica Godfrey. And I love the minimal quilting on this one. It's kind of stitch in the ditch. So you just see the nice fabrics. This is one that I am tempted to reach out and touch because I know that feels so soft. And great use of color placement there. I'll give you a far back look of that one.
you found an Instagram photo of her finding out she won. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. Wow, I bet she was pleasantly surprised. I'm going to have to find that. This one is a smaller quilt, Party Streamers, by the Tattooed Quilter, who's another great person to follow on Instagram if you like quilty photos. Oh, you follow him. Yeah, he's great. Get that nice crinkle texture there. Mary W. Brown on Instagram. Thank you. I'll look for that. So we're still in the quilt of the month category. This one's Honeycomb by Magdalena Langa. got some fun quilting. This one is Sun Showers by Stacy Day. This one is Bold by Jillian Smith. And it's like a great modern flying geese. They are such art. Yes, they look great hanging up like this, don't they? This one is Use Your Illusion by Cheryl Bricky. <laughs> yeah, the black and white is great. This is one of this quilt would look great in a lot of different colors. That high contrast. Your eye just moves all around it. I love it. That loop loopy quilting so fun. Here's this awesome one with rounded corners. This one is Smubble by Rebecca Burnett from Toronto, and it's another bias, bias tape applique. This is a fun one, graphic design. This one is Road to Pasadena from Kendra Nitta. Bias applique is popular. Um, was it a challenge last year? I'm not sure. It might be a challenge last year or this year, but I know I've seen a lot of bias tape applique popping up. And yes, it looks like she did machine quilt that down. And I love that perfect curved binding there. Is that focusing on that? Okay, this is the youth category, and this is first place in youth. That awesome ribbon. Kabloom by Sophia Locke. So 
some awesome stacked Dresden plates. Yeah, it is one awesome Dresden. Yeah, they are kind of like ties, that tie shape. And so this is the youth category, which I believe is any quilter under the age of 18. And I love her name, Kabloom. That's just so fun. And it looks like curved edges are in right now. It's another curved edge quilt. And her use of color was great. I love the color palette that she picked. Oh, this is the used category. So here's second place in used quilts, which is um, quilters 18 and under. This one is Heart's Desire by Autumn Overton. Let me back up and show you the color on this one. Sorry. It's got this great color placement on this. It's kind of ombre rainbow. <laughs> Does it make you worry or, or are you just blown away that this is the youth category? It really is impressive. Here's third place in youth. This one is Modern Harris by Alexis. I might be messing up the name there. Alexis Eupitus. You're feeling older. <laughs> it's great to see the, the future of quilt making and that people are still picking it up. This one reminds me of um, icebergs or glaciers. Let's see if she says something here. Oh, it's inspired by a painting of a lake. Oh, and how sweet. A technique my mom taught me. That's so sweet. And yeah, really some great, great skills here. Here is Big Bang. by Charlotte Eupitus. Oh, really? Oh, great. And look at these tiny hexagons. This one's a small one. There's the paper next to it. This one is Itsy Bitsy Hexy Quilt by Sophia Locke. And she's from the Sydney Modern Quilt Guild. It does look like they are hand pieced. So much cute little surprises hiding in there. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, are you coming to see them in person? That's great. Oh, look at the little space invader hiding in there. I love this one. See that tiny goldfish? And so here's my hand for scale. Those are super tiny. And yeah, the little space invader. That's just super cute. This one is Staircase by Ginger Connor. See, it's got that nice star as the border. And then this awesome rail fence in the middle. The quilting on this is really great. This one is Spunky Squares by Gabriella Grove. This one is a fun eye illusion. 
This one's called This Is My Quilt by Lulu McMahon. Also in the youth category. And it's a very vibrant color. I hope that's coming across. I love to see how, how kids interpret things, yes, and the colors that they use. Great quilting on this one. This is also youth. This one is Peace by Taylor Messler. Yeah, the youth category is huge right now. Let's see, let me get the name on this one. This one is Colorful Bricks by Carly Grable. Super fun mix of fabrics. A nice big quilt, too. That one takes up the whole wall. Oh, look at this super cute nail polish quilt. This one is called Oh My Gosh Polish by Gabriella Grove. Isn't that so cute? She says she loves to do her nails different colors. When you were 18, you did not have to sew. I know, it's amazing. And they're already making entire quilts. Another full view of the nail polish. I believe this is a um, fat quarter shot pattern. Gosh, and this one's for sale. I want to buy that one. So yeah, this nail polish is a cute online pattern. This one is Strippy Stripes by Macy Grable from Kansas City. I know, I want to buy that one. You were anti-quilts when you were anti-quilts. Anti -quilts, that's a very strong, um, strong position to be in. I'm not sure I was ever anti-quilts, but definitely they used to seem like a lot of work. <laughs> Here's one. I, I love Frog Prince Reflections by Sophia Locke. It's kind of like a log cabin in an Irish chain layout. And this one's with some awesome Tula Pink Prince Charming fabric. Oh, you had quilts everywhere. Oh, well, that would explain it. Quilt overload. So yeah, see here you can kind of see how it's four log cabins with the colors reversed. Here is Happiness by Carly Grable. This one is super happy. There's some great flower quilting on that one. Okay, here is a group, group or B quilts category. And this is the first place quilt, Mod Mood. And so see, each person made a block here. And here's another one of those awesome ribbons. And yeah, very mid-century modern style. It can be hard to have a group of people work on something and have it look consistent, but I think this one, you would never know it was a group quilt. You would think one person spent forever quilting those. 
Oh, she did. She posted a picture. Oh, that's great. She did a great job with the ribbons. I love this kind of heartbeat rhythm quilting. Can you see those straight lines? It's kind of a zigzag. Look at this tiny star. That one's great. So this is second place in group quilts. This one is Pathways by the Baltimore Modern Quilt Guild. So see here it says the names of all the people that worked on it. Here's third place in grouper B quilts. This one is Twisted Sisters Quilt. This one's a take on a game of Twister. Let me show you kind of a far off view. If you can see that. Each circle is made in a different way. So look, this is a pieced, pieced circle. Can you see that? This one reminds me of Trivial Pursuit from Pie Slice. I mean, here's a circle made out of just the quilting. Look at that. Looks like it's metallic thread, too. Oops. Confuse the camera. There it is. Here is Emerging Illusion from Melissa Dutton. This one is Mist Wraith by Rossi Hutchinson and the Ann Arbor Modern Quilt Guild. I love the mix of prints that's in this one. There's this fun cat, cat face. a little fox hiding there. And I like this super wide binding. <coughs> oh, here's the like group self-portrait quilt that I did during the East Austin Studio Tour where I had everyone draw themselves And it was hard choosing an up on this one. And this is one of those ones that you really kind of have to get close to see all the details. And I just love how everyone's personality came across in how they decided to draw themselves. And I did the viewfinders that's on the back too. Because you can, it's kind of like a snapshot. I figured the viewfinder was appropriate. Oh, you remember it on Instagram? Oh, awesome. Yeah, if, if you remember, I quilted this whole thing on, on Periscope actually from start to finish, so that was fun. I have a video on my catch that shows me doing these loopy loops 
some late Friday night right before the East Delta Studio Tour. And look, this person, I, I still see new things when I look at it. Look, this person just, it looks like they drew their thumb and then put a face in it. <laughs> so thanks to the Modern Quilt Guild for letting me share this one. So here, see, we're at the end of this row. We've walked through all of this side of the room. This one is another group or bee quilt. So a bee is when um, it's a group of people. So group or bee, there were no bees involved, but it's a quilt bee. This one's Little Tints, also by Ants to Sugar. It's a mix of navies with some bright yellows and some super cute triangle quilting. I love that one a lot. Oh, oh, this one's great. This one is a sewing themed bee quilt. And so usually each person will make a block. This one is I Love Sewing, credited to Neva Asinari, Some Like It Quilted, the Mid-Atlantic Mod. And so, let's see, it looks like this is a zipper with some thread. It says I Love Fabric. And look how they use some little words here and selvages and things. Here's the iron. Super fun. Um, for this show, I, I finished it by hand, just so it would look as tidy as possible. That was my Christmas break this year, was hand binding the, the two that I had in the show. This one is Peace Offering from Gingle Bobbins, the Seattle Modern Quilt Guild. You have bacon socks. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I hope you're okay. This one has some really cool quilting in the negative space. Oh, look at that little arrow hiding there. I think that was maybe unintentional. Here is Enthusiasm by Rossi Hutchinson at Rossi Crafts. She posts a lot of great quilting photos on Instagram as well. Here is a big one. I'm gonna have to back up to show you this whole one. This is Layered Conversations by Amanda Lines. Mandalay Quilts, you may know her on Periscope as well. And it says she had her friends help her. And let me back up and show you the full thing. Oh, this great illusion. Let me show you a little detail of this one. This one is the Las Vegas Modern Quilt Guild, the Modern Strip Quilt. And do you see, if you see these color bands, those are made by the thread on a solid gray fabric. 
How cool is that? <laughs> Great quilting on this one. This one's all custom quilted. And I just love that. Thread color. This one's another kind of a big one. Let me back up a little bit. You can see how they place those blocks. They did a great job with that one. Yeah, it's really big. Oh, there's a little hashtag block. Okay, let's see. I think there may be a couple of these negative spaces I missed. This one is a judge's choice. So each of the judges that they had were able to pick their favorite from the show. So look at that fantastic ribbon. How great to win a judge's choice award. This one is Red Hot by Shauna Daring at the Quilty Corn. So let me show you a full shot of this one. It's got a great negative space layout. And it looks like she used different colors for the background. Some really fun binding on this one too. Here is Bias 4 by Elisa Height Carlton, which she's one of the founding members of the Modern Quilt Guild. And she makes great quilts as well, so very lucky to have this woman and her work, not just in quilt making, but in the quilting community. So definitely check her out on Instagram. You know, close up of this awesome diagonal straight line quilting. I love that one. The Path in the Clouds by Dawn Goldstab. She's in the Austin Modern Quilt Guild, which is where I live. So proud to have another Austin MQG member in the show. She's actually got a few quilts in the show. And this is another great one that has the border on it, but it kind of incorporates the blocks. And it's not just the traditional border that you would see sewn around. This one is Bullseye by Vicki Rubel, Orchid Owl Quilts. And with these negative space ones, I really have to show you the full one so you can see their composition. And if you look at the center of this, it's kind of this awesome rose. great quilting. This one is White Spaces by Bev Bird. Inspired by Yoshiko Jinzinji. Lots of great white, white, black and white print fabrics. So see each of these is squares. It's piece squares all with minimal prints on the square. I 
have the quilting on this one. So you guys still want to see more? The negative space goes along this back wall. This is Retro Reflective by Stephanie Rule. And I hope you can see this. These skinny strips here, she mentions, are made out of nanoparticle fabric, which I've never heard of that before. But it's got this awesome reflectiveness to it. I'm not sure that's coming across, but in person, it's this very eye-catching ray of light. This one is Changing Hexes by Heather Black. Lots of um, half hexes. And some missing ones, which creates a negative, the negative space. Modern Fans by Susie Williams. I love the, hi, I love the peach with the jet black. It's a very awesome color palette. <laughs> hi Costa Rica, thanks for checking out the Modern Quilts. I'm in Pasadena, California right now at the Modern Quilt Guild Quilt Con show. This one's Color Study Triangles by Erica Movena. I know I love this design and the color very original from a rainbow palette. Definitely art. But functional art. A big part of the Modern Quilt Guild is we like to make functional quilts that you will use and put on the couch, put on your bed. Let the kids drag it around the house or the dogs sleep on it. So this one is a dark quilt and it's kind of got some some light coming in from the awesome windows there. So I hope this color is coming across well. But this one's called Undercurrents by Patty Sloan.